what is up YouTube Lasan here so I heard you wanted to make a kind of strike sticker well you came to the right place for this tutorial I'm gonna be using Photoshop CC Creative Cloud but you could use any previous version of Photoshop um, they have available first things first you wanna create a sticker or an image in Photoshop that you want it to be a sticker um, I recommend you create your own and you don't get something off the net because that would be copyrighted so um, if you want to create your sticker you need to have the right canvas size or the image size which is I believe 1024 pixels by 1024 pixels alright so I'm gonna use this image that I've created um, so okay so you have your image um, if you have a shitload of layers here you want to right click and you want to merge layers uh, I don't have the option because it's already merged and then you want to create a new layer and make sure it's transparent background and put it under the image layer now the reason we do that is because once it's in the game there's not going to be any outlines unless you want an outline but for the sake of matter we don't want an outline so once you have your image right you want to go to channels alright so once you're in the channels tab what you want to do is you want to create a new channel but I forgot to mention before we do that we need to select our image so let's go back to layers and select all and then there you go as you can see our image now is outlined with the selection tool and now we want to go back to channels and create a new channel alpha 1 is going to be the default name you can leave like that you don't have to rename it but you want to make sure that um, selected areas is indicated and the color black and press OK and as you can see it created a new channel alpha 1 so now we're ready to play with the alpha channel um, what we want to do is we want to get the transparent background black and the image space white and the reason is because Counter-Strike reads it like that the black will be transparent and the white will be the image so let's go right ahead and make alpha 1 uh, visible and let's hide the RGB now remember we selected our image but now what we have to do is we have to inverse selection so we could have um, the background selected so go back to layer select the selection tool right click and select inverse so now we have the background selected <clears throat> you want to go to your paint bucket tool make sure it's set to black and you want to fill and there you go and now we're ready to uh, save um, don't freak out um, your image won't literally be what you're seeing like I said Counter-Strike reads the black as transparent and white as the image let's go right ahead and save as a T a Targa file a TG I'm gonna call it pop off and I already have a folder for it on my desktop and oh you wanna have alpha channels make sure that's checked and save and you wanna have it as 32 bits uh, pixel and press OK at this point we're uh, done using Photoshop uh, we're ready for the next step which is um, turning the target file into a VTF file now a VTF file is basically a Valve texture file um, you're gonna need a um, VTF edit which I will provide the link in the description it's free so once you have that let's go right ahead and open it up you want to go to uh, this paper button right here which is import and you want to select your target file that you saved press open uh, make sure you have this exact uh, setting of uh, import press OK now if done correctly you should have 8-bit alpha selected from the start and um, that's actually a default you can't even deselect it that's very important if you don't have 8-bit alpha checked off from the beginning uh, that means you messed up somewhere and you need to start all over now there are two checkboxes that you want to check off uh, before you save this 
uh, no mip map and no level of detail. Now, no mip map basically means uh, you don't want the image to be uh, any smoother than what it already is because you created the image using Photoshop and at good quality, uh, as well as no level of detail. Now, these two things are recommended. Um, actually, they're mandatory uh, for the sticker. I don't know why. So let's go right ahead and save. We're going to save it to the same folder and see it's a VTF file. So let's save that. P O P O F F pop off and save. Now we're ready for the third and final step of this tutorial, um, which is basically adding the material code. Um, let's go right ahead and close VTF edit. And you want to open Notepad or Notepad. This is what the code looks like. Now keep in mind there's a more than one option here. You have the basic sticker, the plastic sticker. You have the glossy sticker, holographic sticker, and the, what was the other one? Uh, the embossed foil sticker. I will provide a link with uh, all the codes in the description. Um, for this tutorial, I'm just going to use the regular standard plastic sticker, but you can also have, you can also get the glossy one. Uh, once you paste this, basically all you, all you want to change is the texture location, which is the VTF file that you saved. Um, so let's, let's just go right ahead and erase it so I can show you. You want to start with quotation. And then you want to put uh, forward slash, forward slash, dot, forward slash. And then that's where you find um, your location to the file. In this case, I have it on my desktop CSGO sticker folder, uh, and it's the VTF file. So if you need to get the whole location, just select it, Properties, and right here, sticker. You want to copy that. Cancel. Okay, and then you want to paste it. Uh, CSGO sticker backslash. Um, pop off dot VTF. Um, now you see all these backslashes. You want to change that into forward slashes. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> That's just how it is. Um, and there you go. Once you have that, you just want to save. Let's go right ahead and save as so I can show you a new copy. I'm going to save it as plastic sticker. How about just sticker code? Uh, you don't want to save it as a text file. You want to save it, go, have all types selected, and you want to save it as a .vmt. Now, the .vmt is a Valve material file. Now, you know what's a VTF, and now you know what's a VMT. Texture, material. And you want to save it. Bam. Those were all the three steps um, needed to create a sticker. Uh, now for my favorite part, the preview. All right. So let's close this and let's open up Steam. Uh, go to your library. Don't click on it. Just hover over it and go to Tools. Uh, now find Counter-Strike Global Offensive SDK. I already have it installed. If you don't have it installed, you can install it. Uh, it's free. Just install it. And go right ahead and play. This little window will pop up. You want to go to the model viewer. Double click on that. And this window will pop up. And basically this is what we're going to use to preview our sticker. So we're going to go right ahead and uh, go to file, load model, scroll all the way down till you see sticker preview. Select that, open. Um, this will pop up. Uh, you might not have a green background. I have it set to a green background, so don't freak out. And then the tabs down here, you want to click on material, uh, sticker preview, 
um, WIP, which is work in progress. And then you want to go to replace VMT. Now you want to find the VMT that you created, which is the material code. Remember it was sticker code? Perfect. You want to open that. And there you have it. Your sticker should show up flawlessly. Um, by default, it's going to have scratches. But you want to preview this on a gun. You don't want this shit. You want a gun. So let's go back to file. Load model. Scroll all the way down to sticker preview folder. Open that folder and basically you have all the guns here. Um, just select any gun. Uh, let's go for the AK-47. Open. And you're going to have the gun there. Um, by the way, the control for this, if, if you left mouse click, you hold, you get to basically orbit around the whole thing. Um, to zoom out, I believe you have to right click. Yeah, right click and in and out with the mouse. Right click, in and out. And there you go. So you have four sticker spots on this gun, which um, on the materials tab, it'll show four sticker spots, A, B, C, and D. Uh, you find where do you want to locate your sticker, you want to add your sticker. Let's add the decal on D. Replace VMT file. Sticker code. And it shows up on the gun just like that. Oh, and to pan, you want to hold shift and the left mouse click and move wherever you want. And there you have it. Shows up on the gun. Let's go right ahead and put it on all of them. Just because I'm cool. And there you go. If all done correctly, it should look like this. You know, no problems. Okay, the preview looks good, all right. That was the tutorial on how to make a basic sticker. Um, something that is very important that you should know, you cannot just publish one sticker. Um, you need to make two types of sticker, either a basic one or a holographic one, or a basic one and a foil one. Um, this tutorial will only cover how to make a regular plastic sticker. Um, my next tutorial I will teach you how to make a holographic sticker and then that will explain the process on how to upload. Um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.